Hello everybody, today let's cook some sushi kaharwa. So sushi means semolina and harwa means some kind of a confection. So today we're gonna make the confection made of semolina. And this is um, kind of a sweet kind of confection uh, which is made from semolina with sugar and some oil. Basically oil from the milk fats. So we're gonna use this clarified butter first and uh, we're going to put it in the pan and heat it up so first this oil is looking a little bit yellow and a little bit solid but after heating it up it's getting a little bit transparent and like some liquid so after this stage you're gonna add a little bit of almond nuts and this almond nuts is quite nice after cooking with the oil like this and after adding the almond nuts, next we're gonna add the raisins. This is called kishmish in Hindi. These are gonna make the nice sweet taste in this sushi karwa. So this is quite essential for this meal. And just um, stir it for some while and make it cooked. And I think you can see the kishmish color is changing a little bit into darker color. And after some while, you just add the sushi. This is the semolina which is like granulated wheat and you add it for like um, one whole cup or maybe a little bit more actually this swells up all the water and gets a little bit bigger so don't add too much and in the beginning this semolina is looking a little bit white color so you're going to you have to cook this with this oil and these dry fruits for some while and after that it gets into a little bit darker color a little bit light brown color so this process is quite necessary because this makes quite much difference after adding the water into this sushi and it's better to cook it nicely and during cooking you add some sugar like this for the sugar you can adjust any kind of amount as you like i think you can make it even without sugar also and after adding the sugar you just stir it and wait for the whole sushi to become a little bit brownie color and this stage takes a little bit of time so maybe it's gonna be a little bit too much for if you are quite a busy businessman and not having enough time to make some breakfast but um, it is gonna be nice if you just try it in some weekends or something and as you can see the color is changing a little bit brownie so this is coming to the nice stage and after trying the taste you, if you feel a little bit um, sugarless you can just add a little bit more sugar and just stir it nicely and that's not a problem and usually um, this Sushi Kalua is going to be a little bit um, high in calories, so it's better to add a little bit less sugar if you're going to eat it like daily basis. And now as you can see, the kishmish is getting a little bit big and getting swelled up. And the almond is also getting a little bit into a darker color. So I think um, this stage is getting looking quite nice. So after this you're going to finally add a little bit of water so the suji is going to soak up quite much water so you have to be ready to add quite much water and preferably i think it's better to add a little bit of hot water rather than complete cold water because this whole whole pan is getting quite heated up and it's not so good to cool it down and after adding the water you just um, keep it for some while and in the beginning it's going to be like a little bit watery but um, little by little the sushi is going to absorb all the water and getting the whole paste is going to be a little bit thick at this time the nice smell of the ghee and this um, sushi and the sugar and everything is coming so it's already looking quite nice while cooking just check how much the sushi has absorbed the water and check how much um, it's becoming solid and uh, if the sushi is absorbing nice enough water it's becoming it's gonna become like one single lump 
So that is the sign that the sushi karwa is ready. As you can see, the whole lump is becoming like some lava in the volcano. And this is looking like the nice thickness coming. So after you think the lump is quite enough cooked, just um, keep the lid on and just keep it for some while, for around 5 minutes or so. And after that, I think you can see the steam has fueled the pan and made the halwa a little bit more juicy and wet. So after that, you just stir it and loosen each pieces. And now, as you can see, this is the final form of the sushi halwa. After that, you can um, put it into some small, small bowls and eat it. And also, if it is too much load, you can just put it in the fridge and you can enjoy it in the afternoon with some tea or something. So, look at this nice brown color sushi halwa. This is looking gorgeous and looking tasty. And usually, this sushi halwa is um, eaten with some chai. And it's so delicious that we usually cook too much like this and it is too much for two people so please be careful not to cook too much 